Hello, I just want to share with you guys a dream that I, I received at the beginning of this month and how the Lord uh, gave me this dream and what I was told. And in this dream, I was shown this, um, this landscape. Um, it was like, there was this, the voice was showing me in this side of the view it was a landscape very 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 dry completely dry very dry um brown but i i cannot say not even that it was like sand because sand is moist but it's not even sand that it was to the point that you cannot even touch it so dry that it got to the point that the voice was telling me the word Biden. In my spirit, what I understood is that that's representing the Biden administration. So as this uh, voice is telling me this, it's making me to turn to sit to the other side and when I'm seeing the other side, I fall in love right away because I saw a landscape very green, very beautiful, beautiful because there was a lot of flowers blossom, very blossom, completely beautiful. And the voice is telling me Trump. So in my spirit, I understood that it was the Trump administration. So he was telling me the voice that from that we move to this. So from that landscape, we changed to this landscape. And I, that was imp I was impacted by that change. And then the final uh, word that the voice told me was that in that landscape, on the dry landscape, we're going to change to a quicksand. On that very moment when he said that, the quicksand, he said, on the quicksand, is go we're going to sink like this. At that very moment, I woke up. When I woke up, I received the word, the green pastures. When I heard the word green pastures, that led me to look up in the Bible for the reference on that which is in the book of Psalms and is the chapter of Psalms 23. So I received confirmation what the Lord want us to do. Oh, it was awesome. I received comfort. And I want to share this information with all of you because I know we're living in a very uh, stressful time. And it's very unfortunate that, that the things that we're seeing nowadays uh, are not very satisfying, are not, are not encouraging, but the Lord is seeing what is happening. He is with us and He's wanting us to receive a word of encouragement. And I want Marcus Rogers to receive also these words because I, I, I hear his voice uh, of discouragement. And he could use this word of Psalms 23 for him to know what the Lord says about it. The Lord says in here, well, actually, this is David, because they, in David, in those days, he was oppressed as well. And that's what we're living right now. All of us, his people, not only his people, but there's more people that felt the same way. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall no want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. 
He leads me in path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, look where we at right now. And that's what I saw in the dream. I will fear no evil. Right there, that's the message that the Lord was giving me. That's where he wants to comfort us. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over me. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me. I can feel his presence right now. All the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Isn't it that he's awesome? Forever? My people, he's listening. He's with us. He's saying, do not fear. Even, even the, uh, 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 we're, we're, we're heading, we are, we're not heading, we are already in, in trouble times. We are in trouble times. These are the times where David were, was going through. These are times where Daniel was going through too. These are times where Joseph was going through too. Trouble times. Even Daniel's uh, friends were going through as well. Trouble times. Who else? All of the uh, servants of God were going through trouble times. Guess what? They had no fear. Because they knew the God they were serving. They had the confidence. They trust in the Lord they were serving. So they find comfort in God. Because they knew God has their back. Trust in the Lord. Remember, trust in God's word. Find encouragement in his word. Find encouragement in prayer. Remember something. The enemy is scared of all of us. Even though you may be discouraged for what you see around us, do not look at the problems, but look at the word. And find encouragement in God's word. Because remember, when you're encouraged, you get the courage to be more strong in the Lord. And I hope this has helped you to get more into the Lord.